Good damn morning, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. Big shout out to my man Ezra serving this country in the United States Air Force. Thank you very much, man. We appreciate what you do. Thank you for your service. Please be safe. Now, next stop on the Nobody Gives a Shit Express. Tom Steyer. If you haven't kept your finger on the fading pulse of this corpse, of this near corpse known as the 2020 Democrat presidential election, Tom Steyer was another no-name on the bottom rung of this ladder. And he has officially dropped out. Okay, who cares? Nobody took that full serious anyway. The fuck is Tom Steyer? I'm waiting for the, the Klobuchar's you know, the mom from that 70s show. The booty gauges. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait till that shit happens. Cut the shit, people. Just go ahead and get it down to Bidenist pervertus or the billionaire hunter, Bernie Sanders. Fuck those billionaires. <laughs> man, he only, does, he only hates billionaires because he's not a billionaire. If he did make it to billionaire status and then he decided to run for office, do you think he would give up his billions? Fuck no, he wouldn't, man. Get out of here. Billionaires. Anyway, wake me up when it's down to those two old bastards. Because actually, uh, Biden is pervertus, did good yesterday in South Carolina. He won. Someone has decided to get down on their hands and knees and do mouth to mouth to Biden this perverted sisters' campaign. Now, real quick side note, something that bothered me. Now, let me know if I'm wrong, but I grew up learning that if you had to show uh, ownership, you know, like, this is Johnny's bike. It would be Johnny apostrophe S, right? But if it was a name, like it said, this is Mr. Davis's car, it would be D-A-V-I-S apostrophe and then that's it because you wouldn't put S apostrophe S, right? I was reading this article and it did that. It's, I think it was vi viruses or viruses or some shit, but it was S apostrophe S. Last I checked, you're not supposed to do that. Somebody let me know. Am I wrong? I don't think so. So somebody that slipped past somebody's editor Maybe some young person who, they're, maybe they're not teaching that anymore. Maybe not only did they change the math, but they changed punctuation. I don't know. Somebody tell me. But somebody got down, pressed their lips against the liver-spotted ones of Biden's perverters and breathed life into his campaign with this win in South Carolina. Now, will it be Biden? Because, you know, it's, it's Sanders' is, is, is to lose. So is... Sanders going to win or is, is Biden coming back? He had old Joe against the ropes, but now he's sniffing again. We'll see. But uh, of course, more on the coronavirus. Yesterday, Trump announced that there will be more travel ban restrictions. He's stopping anybody from coming in from Iran because half of their damn parliament claims to be sick. They're claiming all these people who are infected. So, uh, no more from you, Iran. You guys need to stay there. Get your shit together. Now, will this be called racist? This is another sneaky way for Trump to rub his snidely whiplash mustache and keep these dirty little colored folk out of America. They'll probably say that. But if he didn't put a travel ban on him, you'd be saying it's a conspiracy theory and Trump wants to infect the country. So catch 22. You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. If you have any problems with coronavirus, keep your ass in your country. Another country that's on the list, it's not a full ban, but Italy. They've had some issues as well. So Italy, you're getting close. Iran, you're there. Stay the fuck out till you get that shit cleaned up. It's not that bad in America yet. There's, there was one death, uh, I believe yesterday, maybe the day before, it was a 50 or 50 plus year old man 
Trump came out and said it was a woman, that's because the CDC told him it was a woman. So everybody's, oh, Trump's a dumbass. He can't even get the gender right. Well, CDC issued a tweet saying, uh, our bad. We gave him fucked up information. That's why he ran with it. So, yeah, it was a 50-plus-year-old man uh, who died. <coughs> um, you know, it's like, like I said, it's like a lot of other diseases. The really young and the really old are susceptible to it. People in between that with the healthy immune system, you'll be all right. He was saying most of the people are either better or getting better. So, again, like I said yesterday, I don't, I'm not buying in the whole hysteria of it. We definitely need to keep an eye on it. We definitely need to make sure we don't turn into a fucking Iran or China. But I don't think it's there yet. But as far as everybody watching this from Iran, uh, you got to stay there, player. You got too many infected folk. I'm not going to lie. I was near, uh, I was standing near two young Asian people a couple weeks ago. They both had masks on, masks on and they were coughing. Come on. You know I was worried. Anybody right now with all this shit going on, if you were standing to two Asian people, actually, I'm going to take it further than that. They were Chinese. And I know they were Chinese. So you're standing to two Chinese people wearing masks, coughing, and you're not going to be worried. I'm calling bullshit. Because I was. I mean, I took a couple steps back. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I didn't... <laughs> We don't know everything about this shit. you damn right I took two steps back and i do it again. But that's what's going on with the uh, travel ban. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned, speaking of this stupid democratic waste of time, this democratic campaign, I mentioned how in the last one, uh, I think it was the last one, when Skin Lizzie, a.k.a. Joe Hannes, when she accused Bloomberg of telling one of his female employees when she was pregnant to kill it, to kill her baby. Now, I said at the time, that's a low blow. That's fucked up. Even the crowd that was there, who was eating at this trough of socialist bullshit, even they were like, man, that, they booed. They booed her when she said that. That was too much. So Chris Cuomo... Uh, was interviewing her. He basically said the same thing. Like, damn, do you have do you have proof of that? That's fucked up. And he made some uh, some sexist comments, I guess, to some woman that was a guest on the show. I guess back in 2016, um, she was getting some makeup done. You know, before she went on air with them, and he's making these comments about she needs more makeup so he can fall in love with her or some shit like that. And, he made a couple other comments, and even she said it fell short of sexual harassment, but it made it difficult for her to, to do her job. She was uncomfortable. And according to this, artic to this article, uh, CNN has paid out like 40 grand in another situation. Then he was doing, this is all like within the last week or two. Cuomo's having a fucked up week. So, or I'm sorry, Matthews, Chris Matthews, that's what it's not, Chris Cuomo, whatever I just said, Chris Matthews. So, uh, he's also interviewing some guy who's running for some kind of office, and there was footage of this guy standing next to the president, and Chris Matthews says, oh, looks like you're, or he's standing next to who he's running against. And he says, oh, looks like you're standing next to the guy you're going to be. And it turns out it wasn't him, it was another guy. But see, the problem is, both the guys are black. <laughs> so he's like, he tells me, oh, oh I'm sorry, man, mistaken, I did. <laughs> and the guy like rolls his eyes like, whatever, fool. So he can't help it. He keeps, he keeps stepping in it. Like one of those old cartoons where they step on the rake and then they step back from the rake and step on the shovel and then they step over here and get caught up in the hose. He can't win for losing. And I said in that last video, I was like, man, wouldn't that be something to see Chris Matthews get fired? Well, that could happen. Because there was that women's advocacy group called Ultraviolet that was saying that he was being sexist towards Liz Warren because he didn't believe her accusations and all this shit. Well, it turns out last night when they were covering the uh, South Carolina, you know, the primary, 
Chris Matthews wasn't there. And you know he would be. That's one of their boys. So I think it has begun. The, the crumbling of his empire has begun. Because he wasn't on air for a very important event. A very important political event. This is how it starts. Chris Matthews pulls up to the, to the studio. And they're like, hey, Chris, let me talk to you for a minute. Yeah, man, you know what? You can go ahead and take the night off. We're not going to need you tonight. But I've, I've done all, the last 15 primaries in a row. Yeah, I know, but take the night off. We'll, we'll give you a call in the morning. We'll talk about it later. Oh, okay. Good night. <laughs> That's how it starts. Little by little, they take you off the air. Next thing you know, you're gone. This is what happens. This is what happens when that liberal, mainstream, mediocre beast turns and looks at itself and says, mm, that looks good, Arr! and starts eating itself. All this bullshit you've pushed, oh, everything's racist, people of color, diversity is our strength, believe all victims, all that bullshit your company has been pushing is coming back to tear your ass apart. How about that for some irony? <laughs> oh, you better believe I'll be doing a video when that motherfucker gets fired. <laughs> oh man, normally we don't like cannibalism. Normally people don't support cannibalism. But in this case, hashtag eat up. <laughs> oh, you dumbasses. This is what you wanted. This is the bed you made, so drink your sleepy time tea and lay your bitch ass down. <laughs> oh man, people, maybe I'm extra happy because it's my Friday, I don't know. But I'm about to hop in this last damn leg of the rat race. But you know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, because every time it rings, a piece of shit liberal cries. Make sure you help me stay independent, people. It is truly us against them. Get your Jericho Green notification tone, fanatictones.com. Link in the description box. Utilize the PayPal link and the Teespring link to get your green gear. I am Jericho Green. Man, I'm out.